In this tutorial, I am going to discuss a programming problem to merge overlapping intervals. So let's go through the problem statement first. Given a list of time intervals, so we have list of time intervals and the interval has two attribute start and end. We have to write a code to merge all overlapping intervals and the intervals may or may not be sorted. So let's uh, see the example. So in first example, you can see uh, three intervals are there, one, four, two, five, and six, nine. And each interval has a start point and end point. And once we merge the overlapping intervals, then this is the output in which uh, one, five, and six, nine are there. So to understand this example better, let's draw a graph. Now let's plot the interval in this graph so first interval is from 1 to 4 so let's uh, draw a line from 1 to 4 and the second interval is from 2 to 5 so this is the 2 and this is 5 so let's draw 2 to 5 and the third interval is from 6 to 9 so let's draw so this is 6 and this is 9 so now all the intervals are plotted in a graph and if you see uh, these two interval 1 to 4 and 2 to 5 is overlapping and if we merge them so let's if we merge these two interval then you can see we can merge them in this 1 to 5 range so 1 to 4 and this 2 to 5 these are overlapping and we have to merge only overlapping intervals so once we merge the overlapping interval so it is one five six nine is not overlapping with any one interval so it is uh, remain as it is so the output is one five and six uh, nine let's see our second example and let's plot them on a graph so the first interval is seven to eight so let's seven to eight second uh, interval is 2 3 so 2 and 3 and the third interval is from 5 to 9 so it is this is 5 and this is 9 and after plotting the intervals on a graph we can see uh, these two interval 5 to 9 and 7 to 8 are overlapping so we can merge them into one interval which start from 5 and end with 9 so you can see uh, the output uh, 2 3 and 5 9 so uh, the interval may or may not be sorted so in this case the interval are not sorted so please remember this point uh, so it is very important uh, when we are solving this problem so the intervals may or may not be sorted so uh, now the output of this example is interval in the range from 2 to 3 and intervals in the range from 5 to 9 as these two intervals are merged. So now let's uh, see our third example. Let's plot them on a graph. So first range is from 1 to 4. So this is 1 to 4 and second is from 2 to 6. So this is two and this is six and third is from three to five so this is three so let's start from three and this is five and after plotting them on a graph we can see all these three intervals are overlapping and we can merge them from this range one and from this range six so all them uh, uh, all of uh, these three interval can be merged into a uh, into a range or you can say into an interval from uh, which start from one and end to six so this is the output so th this is the problem statement and before uh, seeing the solution uh, let's first think how you can solve this problem efficiently given a list of intervals we have to write a code to merge the overlapping intervals so the first question comes in our mind is how do we know that these two intervals are overlapping or all of these intervals are overlapping so to understand uh, this concept let's take 
एन एग्जाम्पल सो लेट्स टेक दीज टू इंटरवल्स वन फोर एंड टू फाइव सो वन फोर एंड टू फाइव सो दिस इज द फर्स्ट इंटरवल एंड दिस इज द सेकेंड इंटरवल्स सो हाउ डू वी नो दैट दीज टू इंटरवल्स आर ओवरलैपिंग सो सो इफ यू सी दिस एंड ऑफ द फर्स्ट इंटरवल विच इज फोर एंड द स्टार्ट ऑफ द सेकेंड इंटरवल विच इज टू सो इफ यू सी इज देर एनी लिंक बिटवीन दीज टू सो यू कैन सी द एंड ऑफ द फर्स्ट इंटरवल इज ऑलवेज ग्रेटर दैन इक्वल टू द स्टार्ट ऑफ द सेकेंड इंटरवल सो एंड ऑफ द फर्स्ट इंटरवल इज ऑलवेज ग्रेटर दैन इक्वल टू द स्टार्ट ऑफ द second interval so end of the first interval is always greater than or equal to the start of the second interval so if this condition is satisfied satisfied it means that these two intervals are overlapping and for this condition the in, uh, so the intervals are always to be in sorted order based on the start i mean based on the start attribute so uh, every interval has two attribute a start and end so to satisfy this condition the interval should be in sorted order based on the start attribute so and so using this logic we can easily find the overlapping interval or we can merge the overlapping interval let's see the java code and let's start from the beginning so uh, this condition ensures that if the list has less than two element then simply uh, return uh, this list there is nothing to be merged in this list else uh, let's proceed further and this is the uh, logic of sorting so here we are passing this interval and the comparator so it will sort uh, the intervals based on the start attribute so after this step uh, we get the list of intervals sorted based on the start attribute like this so uh, this input is also uh, already sorted based on the start attribute so now uh, what we do is we take the zeroth element so this is the zeroth element of the list and we initialize a start and end variable with a start and end attribute so it is 1 and 4 then we start traversing uh, this interval from the first index so this is the first index so we start traversing an interval from the first index and then in this variable we take uh, the current element so current element is the element the interval present at this index so this is the first index so as of now the current element is the interval present at this index so we get this interval 2 5 and then we are using the logic which we have discussed here so we are checking if the tam dot start so the this is the previous interval is less than or equal to the end end of the first interval so if it satisfy then in end we taking the math dot max of end and tam dot end so this is the four and and in this this is the five and you can see here the tam dot start as two which is less than this uh, the value of end so we we reach at this statement and here we assign 5 so now in next iteration we pick this element 6 and 9 so we pick this element 6 and 9 and here the tam dot start as 6 is it less than or equal to end so the value of end is 5 no so we move at this uh, i mean we move in this condition where we we add the interval start and end so start was 1 and end was 
so we added one interval which is one five and then we assign the current temp start and end in this variable so six and nine in this variable then we came out of this loop and we also added these six and nine in this output list and now after that we return this output list so we return this value one and five and six and nine so you can see uh, the overlapping intervals are one four and two five which is merged to one five and this six nine is remain as it is and we return this output so the time complexity of this approach is o n log n so basically o lo n log n is because we are sorting this interval based on the start attribute this is why the time complexity is o n log n and its space complexity is o1 as we are using the constant space so this is how we can merge the overlapping interval now let's see the main method so in the main method here i am preparing the input interval and then i am calling this method merge interval and after that whatever the output i get i am simply printing it so let's uh, run this code and if i run this code you can see the output is 1 5 and 6 9 so that's it for this video tutorial for more such programming a video tutorial you can subscribe our youtube channel you can visit our website which is https colon slash slash thanks for watching this video